Now I'm showing you this is because this is the scanner I'm actually using. It sits right next to me right now. I don't have a camera on me, so you can't see me, so I recorded this. This just gives you an example of a good scanner. This does 65 pages a minute, full duplex in color. There are a lot of good scanners out there, but that's probably the thing that's really important to make your document management system work best is have a really good scanner. I'm going to scan one piece of paper now, and it's going to be a resume for Ashley Cecil. So now we're logged in as Ashley Cecil, and we're going to scan in her resume. And we're going to place that in her resume folder that we've created for her. So now the next thing I need to do, I'm just going to minimize this and identify in Sidekick the default location so that when I scan that document will go to Ashley Cecil's resume folder. I right click, set this as the default. It is personal time off now. I'm changing that to her resume folder. Okay, now I can close this or move it over to the right and then go down to the other icon you see there which is the e-file cabinet virtual scanner our scanning interface I'm going to show you this going real time as I scan click on the scan button okay so it's scanning that one document in you can see a little thumbnail to the left okay and so all I have to do with this is go up to the store button and click on it and I'll watch in real time in Sidekick, that document now is going up to the cloud. Again, it comes in as a default name. I need to change the name. But so now that document has been scanned into eFile Cabinet. And we'll open up really quick and take a look in that folder. Refresh it. There is Ashley's resume as a PDF in both locations. And I just simply need to change the name back to Ashley. There are also predefined document names that I'm going to demonstrate in a little bit, and that is really helps save a lot of time. I like blowing this up each time, again, because some of you may be in a big conference room and it's hard for you to see. So I just click on the name, or I can hit that little X and it'll empty out that information, and then I can just start typing. So I'm just going to put Ashley Cecil in here. And so that's how you would scan a document into eFile Cabinet that quickly. You have to first identify where you want that to go. Storing with Sidekick, this is really cool. What I'm going to do is open up Sidekick and go to a couple drawers here in Human Resources. Tom Adams has some folders in there. Okay, but above him, under Fill Able, it's completely empty. And I'm going to simply drag that XYZ invoice, this PDF document, into Sidekick. Just drag and drop and let go. Okay, so now that document is up there, a copy of it is up there. Then I'm going to take this benefits folder, which is a Windows folder. It has subfolders in it, has a couple documents in it. And what I'm going to do is actually drag this entire Windows folder into Sidekick. And it will maintain the integrity of the structure and all the files in the right place. So I'm going to take it in and just drag this entire Windows folder in there. And so you can see as this takes a moment to upload. There's the benefits folder. There should be one other folder come up. And there it is. And then if I go into any of the folders, you'll see that the files have come with it. Again, you can entire Windows folders you can drag into Sidekick. Now, remember you cannot drag out of eFile Cabin Online, but you can drag out of Sidekick. So I'm going to drag this document, this insurance form, out of Sidekick from the cloud right to my computer screen. So there is that PDF that I was able to drag out. Also, I'm going to create another Windows folder here. And the reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to drag out the Benefits folder that I dragged into Sidekick out into that Windows folder. So what does that mean is you can drag out entire folders from Sidekick into Windows. So, and again, I'll maintain the same structure, the same integrity, nothing's lost, the same documents will come out. And there you go. So again, you can go in and you can go out and drag in and drag out with Sidekick.